Well, according to the memorandum, police will be focusing on juvenile crowds of 10 or more. The policy even provides a script of what officers should say when they approach them. How a curfew is implemented actually matters. We asked David Jaros, a law professor at the University of Baltimore, for a legal opinion on the police policy memo attained by the 11 News I team. It spells out how officers are to enforce the city curfew law. He immediately said there are some red flags. There are equal protection concerns in a city like Baltimore that if the police are enforcing the curfew in only parts of the city, if they're not looking for roving bands of teens in an area like Roland Park, which is predominantly uh, white as opposed to poor areas of the city, that raises serious concerns. According to the policy, if officers spot a crowd of 10 or more kids, they must activate their body cams before approaching contact a supervisor, and call for backup. Officers will also have to contact the Youth Connection Center. The facility connects kids and families with services designed to prevent further delinquency. Police will then make three consecutive voice announcements, if necessary, by a bullhorn to tell the kids to vacate the area. Research seems pretty clear that these kinds of curfews don't enhance public safety. The policy reads only minors consenting to be transported may be taken to the center. Professor Jero says that means police will have to take the child to their home. One of the concerns that the city rightly has is that the home may not be a safe place for the child. Um, there may not be someone at home or there may be other reasons why it's problematic. Some of these children are homeless. The policy does not detail what to do if an officer has personal safety concerns. Now there's a question of, well, they have to do a pat down because they're concerned about safety. And then there's some kind of contraband found on, on a child. And now this becomes a criminal matter. So what we are doing is simply increasing the policing of Baltimore City youth. And I'm not sure that results in a great outcome. Those eager to learn more about the curfew plan will have an opportunity at 5 p.m. tomorrow here at City Hall. That's when Council's Public Safety Committee will hold a public hearing on the memorandum. Reporting live from City Hall, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.